surprisingly Prince won. Yeah, there you Two go. Two in a row. Um, but we're all ready to go. The first map, What My Love. What do you know about What, what My Love, uh, Mr. Wicked Cossack? All right, so this is a uh, this is a new map for um, this tournament. So uh, yeah, never never seen before, but um, it's a interesting water map. Um, but you can you can play land on it. We see both water and land plays. Um, there's a couple of islands at the north and the south. You'll see when we spawn in. Um, each of the islands has like three uh, yaks or, or cows on them. So um, oftentimes we see players using their catamarans to send like a native scout or an explorer to try and pick those up, um, secure them early. Uh, oh, I think it has I'd... been replaced by a canoe. Oh yes, that's right, the canoe. But I just noticed um, Prince doesn't have his free like herdables. Oh, is it a big <laughs> thing? Um, is it really? On... Should we tell them? <laughs> Suppose he doesn't <laughs> ever go to the island. <laughs> yeah, it's because uh, it's not that common. Yeah. I'll see. Well, if if, if he wants to, if he wants to carry on playing it, that's fine. Yeah. But they have the he has the information now. It's not a big deal. But um, yeah. if, if he if he wants to rehost, then fair enough. Just give him the chance to uh, make the decision for himself. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not a huge deal. But it's. It's nice to know. Like, yeah, because obviously he'd be pretty annoyed if he, you know, sent his canoe over there and there's, there's nothing there. But uh, yeah, otherwise. Yeah, and Kaiser Clan already going for the trade post. This is definitely going to be like the tournament meta for that coming year, right? Oh uh, yeah, well trading trading posts have been in for uh, for quite a while now. But um, yeah, so we got an Ottomans versus a uh, British matchup mm -hmm. on uh, Webmala, and um, yeah, Kaiser immediately going for the TP, and he's found a uh, Zoe's cookbook treasure. This is uh, interesting. Usually we don't see players going for um, treasures like this too early on because what it does is it increases your maximum population by five, and usually um, players kind of favour the resource treasures. A little bit early on to kind of uh, start snowballing and you know get those age up times going a little bit quicker but um this is going to give him five more population um okay, so, so he doesn't have to build a house wow yeah and so he's actually in, instead he saved his wood for the mosque yep. and so the mosque is going to give him what that does is it gives him a little more um experience so it's it's a bit less than the trading post but it's it's going to mean that his shipments are going to come in even even faster and yeah so he can actually delay the house so um, that was that was like a really nice uh, adaptation there because you you don't usually plan that out uh, to be honest. <laughs> Check this treasure out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that, yeah, that, that was probably the first time like he's he's done that. I don't think. Uh... Do, do you see it? <laughs> Wait, which which one? Oh, it's gone. Look on the screen. Has his computer <laughs> worth a hundred wood? Oh. Yeah, but um, so the weird, about, the weird thing about this treasure is you it actually drops like the hundred wood crate, you, so you don't actually get it initially. So he, he's gonna have to send a villager to pick it up, which is what he's done. And, yeah, uh, that's so funny. I, I don't think Haz is, Haz is uh, here to see this, which is which is probably this a is good thing. We should, somebody should clip this. Uh, wait. Right, so um, Kaiser's already aging up now, and I'm um, curious to see what he's going to do. He's sending two villagers already to the shore, so it looks like we're going to have some sort of water play already, because um, he's got lots of trees around yeah. his base. So, so the only reason to be sending these villas down here is if, if he if he wants to kind of get a dock up, I guess. And he's got two villas down here, so maybe, I mean, Ivory wants a dock really fast. He's going to build it with two villas, or, or maybe he's this is kind of just an indication that um, he's going to do like a double dock and... Uh, He's actually going to really commit to the water here. Um, and Prince himself is getting a TP as British, which is, uh, yeah, it's becoming more common, but um, it's not super common. And actually, all right, so Kaiser's going for a wall. Yeah, he's I, going, going full Canasia, I think. But I don't see a dock just yet. Has he put has he put a villain in this canoe on the right? I wasn't paying attention, but I've, I've just noticed the villas on the trees have disappeared, right? And this canoe is moving in a very weird hmm. kind of way. But I, 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 I can't see if there's villagers in there, but I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on it because he might, he might dump some villagers out. 
Oh, the two canoes are going to meet, so the prince is going to see him. Yeah, I'm. I'm really curious to see what Kaiser has planned. I don't. I don't know if he's going to like hide the proxy racks, or is it going to be docks, or I honestly, I don't. Yeah, so he's got oh. his two villas on the bottom island. So is he going to start fish booming here, or build like an outpost, or? It's a rax. Okay, so it's proxy raxing. Oh, this is insane. Oh, this is really cool. So, um, I guess what's going to happen is Prince is going to scout the walls, right? He, um, where's his explorer? Like, do you know where Prince is explore? Oh, he's, okay. So he's, so he's in his base. So he's looking around Kaiser Klein's base and he, he sees all the walls and he's going to be like, ah, oh, you know, this is like a late game play, right? Kaiser's probably fish booming. You know, he's going up to age three, possibly going up to age four, right? He sees no indication whatsoever of a rush. Oh, and he doesn't even see the 700 food. If you saw the 700 food, it might be some kind of tip-off. Like, that's a bit weird if you're doing um, a fish boom or, like, a tech boom. And that maybe would have tipped him off, but he's, he's already left because he saw all the information he, he thought he needed. Yeah, What's actually happening? And yeah, Prince is going for, uh, for a water play now. Oh, my he's goodness. He's built a dock. So in Prince reaction is... to the walls, probably. As you yeah, said. He's... He has no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, so he's going for a he very heavy eco build as well. Yeah, but the, the thing is, Kaiser Klein's going to make like 30 Janissaries and then ship them all over in this canoe. <laughs> and then what's Brit's going to have? However, the, the, the landing beach is a bit awkward to go because it, I mean, he can only go here and he has and he will be in line of sight of these houses. So Prince of Kabul will know immediately once they land. But he's, he's going to have like no units. Like we can see Prince, he hasn't got any military building at all. I mean, because oh, he, he, right. you know, he, he, he thinks he's got a perfect hold on what Kaiser's doing. He's seen the walls. Like, why would you, why would you wall up? Like, unless you were doing, you know, teching or fish booming. And this is nice by Kaiser, right? He's, he's, he's going to wait for um, more Janissaries. So he'll either go with 20 or possibly even wait for 30 Janissaries. And so this will just give Prince, like, no time to react. So he's got up to about, was that, 20 now? Is he going to go with 20? <coughs> I, I hope so. Because he's, um, Prince has sent two caravels. Yeah, well, Prince is going he's, to check out. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he thinks he's going to counter a fish boom. He's exactly. even got the third yeah. caravel. He's oh, there the, the canoe is going. Where's the, oh, I see the canoe, yeah. He's, he's, Prince is going to be looking for the docks and he's going to be like, what's going on? <laughs> and there they are. The Janissaries of land. Moving in. Oh, this is brilliant. Yeah. Alright. Well, they're going to be spotted now. Let's see if he reacts. There's one villager down. So only now he's realizing what's going to happen now. Yeah, and he's shipped the free house. He, Prince has no military building. There's no, there, I don't know what he can do. He, these caravels are useless. Um, and they're only completely... It, other side of the map as well. He is, oh god! There's there's no military building. He, he's he's sneaking five villages away. He's got he's got about six villages um next to his dock. But uh, most of his economy is stuck in this town center. And I mean, maybe, <laughs> I mean, he's to call like minutemen and ship like six muskets. But that's not gonna that's not gonna beat twenty jans. And we can expect there'll be like ten more jans on the way. I, I think he's just loaded ten more janissaries into this canoe actually. So that'll be over soon. I mean, he calls the Minutemen, but pff, that's just, yeah. Won't be enough. Gonna... Oh, and he doesn't have a shipment either. Yeah. Trying to save the villagers in the caravel, but <laughs> will they make it? I mean, yeah, he's going to lose some. Um, I guess the thing is that once he gets to the caravels, like, Kaiser Klein doesn't have any way to kill the caravels, at least immediately. So, like, um... Uh, Kaiser can't really fight the caravels with his land army. The, the caravels can use their, you know, their, their special ability and um, do a lot of damage. But he's he's going to lose the TC, and he's he, lost his explorer as well. Yeah, he he has shipped colonial militia, but he doesn't have the resources to really use it. So it, it probably only killed like an extra janissary just with the extra oh attack. Oh my damage. god! And all these villages are going to die. Wow. Um. And I think yeah. the explorer is over here or not? Where is it? It's uh, by the market, so it's it's safe for the moment. Um, and luckily for Prince, he's found the uh, the barracks location, so he's going to be able to siege one. But um, Kaiser's actually building an outpost, so I think the second one might be safe after it could be siegeable. Oh, but he just caravels, doing some real damage on those genocides. 
Yeah, yeah, but I mean, look at the villager count now, right? He um, that was probably worth it for Kaiser because um, he's he's got a uh, prince down to twelve villagers now, and um, I think even forcing this CM shipment, maybe it would have been better just to. Uh, I, oh, I don't know. Prince needs to save his explorer, and oh, <laughs> the explorer is going down. Wow! Wow! Yeah, he, he'd probably just you know forgotten about it because there's so much going on. Yeah. I mean, and uh, let, let's hope Kais is going to wall that explorer like Isim does. <laughs> three wall pieces, <laughs> pillars gone. <laughs> wow. Um, so what's Kaiser next and, for Prince? I, he's got to... I, I think he's got to somehow exploit the fact that he's got three caravels and, and the water's better. So I think he just has to go like, you know, full water. Which is, yeah, we can see he's actually starting to produce mission oh, ships. That's um, shot. You can see that there's Otto... Ships are stronger, right? I th I think it's pretty even. Someone did the analysis once, but the thing about the the Ottoman uh, what are these galleys? I think they're mm -hmm. called is that they have less hit points than a normal caravel, but they do more damage. So um, they're pretty good if your opponent's not paying attention because you can get like a couple of volleys off and that and exploit the high attack damage. But um, overall, I think they're pretty even to caravels. And yeah. There you have it. First round, Prince of Kabul has resigned. Wow. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that, that truly was such a surprise. Huh? Oh my god! Oh that was. God. Uh, I, I I like watching like mind games and strategies <laughs> like that. That was insane. But, um, but he even had us because we were going like, oh, he's going full crazy, water boom. Yeah, those, it, like, yeah, even those two bills he sent down there. That was a uh, mm, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, but I. It, it, the 700 food if prince had stayed to see the 700 food that possibly could have tipped him off but even then i don't know you might just assume huh he's probably just doing a weird build where he's not shipping 700 coins and shipping 700 food instead or something i don't know exactly but, um, well kaiser klein has set the tone for the this matchup let's see what prince of kabul <laughs> can bring uh, to the foray with this um the next map will be uh tibet so definitely no water play, but heavy trade posts. What do you think would be a good save on Tibet? Um, so yeah, usually we've seen like uh, a lot of China in the past, but um, I don't know. Anything could come out here, I guess. Uh, do you know what the vetoes were then? Yeah, uh, they vetoed Cascade Range and Mendocino. Oh, okay, cool. I no mean, real idea why they keep voting out Mendocino. Uh, what do you think? Was that? I think that was Prince's veto, right? Yeah. Seems yeah, because like um, that's probably it's probably um, a good map for Kaiser normally, because Kaiser ah. would play like France or German on that, and you know take the TPs and just do as usual. So um, yeah, but yeah, Kaiser's got the momentum now, and um, he immediately heads off. Oh, I'll check if he's locked. Oh, oh, he's typed it. I, yeah. So I assume that's locked in as France. Okay, so this is a sieve that we don't usually see on Tibet. I don't think I've uh, ever seen it on Tibet in a tournament and game, actually. And so this is going to give Prince a little conundrum because you have to think, okay, so why is Kaiser picked France? Is he Has he prepared like a France versus China matchup? Because normally China, China's <laughs> so like the, weird the tier one. Yeah, China's the tier one sieve. So you go, so Prince has got to think, well, hang on. If I pick China, he's just going to do a... He's going to do something that he's prepared for. So we might see Prince opt not to pick China and um, go for a, go for another another sieve because I don't think he wants to play into a, a trap again. And um, you'd have to think if Kaiser's leading off here with France, he, he would have prepared something against China. So even though China would be favoured, um, I don't think Prince is going to pick it. I think he's going to choose something else just because he, he, he's going to want to avoid uh, uh, any traps. Hmm. But as what to what? What would be good then versus France on this map? Um, I mean, I think I think Dutch could be a, a decent pick. Um, Uzi does all right against France. He, he, um, he could also try and pick a Civ that, to exploit the teepees. So he could go Spain, for instance. I, I don't know how good Prince is Spain is, but... Um, a sieve that could make use of advanced trading posts, so we could get Portugal as well. But yeah, there's a few there's a few options, honestly. I, but uh, I, I, the the issue why Prince is taking a while, I think, is just because he he didn't expect to be in this situation where he has to like 
counter pick against the France. So I think he's just taking his time, and and that's going to cause Kaiser to be right back. Hmm. Maybe maybe Prince is talking it over with with his strategy manager or something. <laughs> maybe maybe he's, he's messaging Sompu Konku. I see Sompu's online right now. <laughs> exactly. Help me out. Help me out, Sompu's buddy. What do I think? <laughs> I don't know. It might sound silly, but I'd go Ottoman. Yeah, um, Prince's um, Ottoman is actually pretty good. Um, I mean, I, isn't this map basically you... trade post um, map control as soon as possible, and then just starving your opponent out, denying those hunts on the corners? And, and, and uh, yeah, but the I guess the thing is, has he actually played like any Ottomans versus France? Um, and so, why well, I think it would be a good civic. He's he probably would have liked to have practiced the matchup at some point, and I I don't know right. if he would have yeah. done that recently. So actually, yeah, I don't know. The match that I've been watching was between France and Japan, so he might even go for Japan. France and Japan. Oh, from yeah, the, from the Prince, Saturday Smackdown yeah. like last year. Yeah, Prince is, um, I think he's got a pretty decent Civ ball. He can, he can play most of the Civs at uh, a decent level. So, he, I mean, he's, he's not restricted in his options here at all. But um, he is taking quite some time here. Let's take a look on the, at his deck. There we go. Yes, picked it. India. Oh. I can, I can, yeah, I can tell he must, he must have been consulting with his, with his manager, Sompu. <laughs> Sompu was like, mate, just go, just go India. Make the seed poise right, click the base. <laughs> that was the advice coming in from Sompu. Prince has decided to go with it. And, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's put the yes in chat. So yeah, he's, he's, he's happy with the India selection. And um, yeah, it's a good choice, I think. Yeah, it's got some uh, yaks. So let's see how well he's going to be able to gather those yaks. And indeed, as you said, right click the TC. Right click the, yeah. And so the second match, uh, I have to update the scores. Uh, the second match in this matchup between Kaiser Klein and Prince of Kabul. Kaiser Klein has won the first one with a really interesting mind trick play. And let's see whether Prince of Kabul can execute Sompu's threat as well as Sompu usually does. Um, let me first adjust the scores. Kaiser won. All right. I'm just having a. I think the 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 hunts are, are kind of okay. I was just a little concerned that Kaiser's ones on the left and right are spawned a little far away that they can't get into TC range. But he does have the one in the back. Yeah, let's just um, offer them. The oh, I don't know. What do you reckon on that? Like he he has the hunts there on the left and the right, but they're just like you know like an extra five centimeters away on both of them compared to Prince's. Yeah. Which gives me a little pause, but I mean they are there, so I don't know. They might they might walk into range. That's a tough call. I think it's probably fine, but they are tight. They're just like a tiny bit far away. Yeah, but I think you it's are fine. absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, it's an awkward one because like they're there, but they're just a tiny bit far, and I'm a little worried because he's playing against India. Well, yesterday I played a game. Uh, I saw I watched the game between Mongo uh, and Snow. Yep. Oh, we can't read the <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. In any case, um, once that game turned into the Fortress Age, then Mongo was really strapped for hunts because they had actually walked away <laughs> to the other side of the map. So. Yeah. 
And so even the now it looks like it's only a slight difference, which it is. It might actually be. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll, 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 just, we'll, just re we'll just re. Yeah. Okay. Unless he. Hun yeah, we got we got time. It doesn't matter. It's the only, right. it's the only series. We may as well play it safe. Yeah. Play it safe. Let's find out what he thinks of it. Yeah, I, I, he's probably already quit. To be honest, I'll, I'll quit. Out, I'll quit out and see if he's out. Yeah, we'll just play it safe. Why not? Good. As long as Gaia isn't in the chat complaining, which he would be. <laughs> he is in the chat, probably, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, it was it was kind of playable. It was like because they were there. I was just. But but it was like at a range where they couldn't be hurt, even though it's designed that way. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's good to know. Yes. Yeah, he's probably right. Hmm. Good. But that's uh, fine, they can just edit, the, you see they just edit this bit out in the video, it's only the people watching in Twitch are getting annoyed. So in the second matchup between Prince of Kabul and Kaiser Klein, Kaiser Klein in the north um, as France and Prince of Kabul to the south as India and with the not many but enough yaks on the map this could be actually really good for India don't you think so? Yeah I think that's one of the reasons why um, Prince kind of went for India I guess is because they can actually get a, a nice age one so we can see actually he um, both players started with three yaks so yep. Prince is already going to get like a small XP triple and, and as, as you said there's um, yaks kind of spawned uh, about the map there seems to be about 10 or, or 12 or something like that but also the other thing is you can um, um, there's always going to be two wood treasures in the middle ring which is kind of nice for India that you know you're gonna get like a guaranteed 90 wood or an, or an 85 wood so interestingly Prince is um I don't see the scouting pattern used too much as India but it seems the Prince is actually prioritizing the yaks rather than the treasures which is um that's interesting actually it, it might pay off so he's, he's actually gonna look to try and get as many yaks and, and get the uh, experience so try and get his shipments in a bit sooner and then he's gonna go for the treasures a bit later um and yeah because uh, it was a wood so stack actually Oh, sorry, what was that? No, he's found so many already. Like, he's at eight. Yeah. I, he must know where they where they spawned as well. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. He, he's still got time to go and get the treasures. I, I was going to say, because um, he might have noticed that it was a wood start, so he can kind of gamble in that Kaiser's going to spend that extra time building the trading post. So he's got like, you know, an extra 20 or 30 seconds of um, scouting time that maybe he can quickly get the axe. And then he's decided he's going to go for those middle ring treasures um, later on. But it looks like they're going to go for the same one. Kaiser wasn't quick enough to cancel the snipe. So he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> and Prince is going to love that. You can just simply stun this leopard and then have this 80 food. But he's moving away. Oh, he, but he's, he's not sure. See, I've so this is kind of a, a little gamble by Prince. What what you can do is, because um, kind of at the high level, you kind of assume that, all right, because he sniped there, he's, he's going to stick around there. Um, and he thinks that I'm still going to be at that treasure. But instead of still being at that treasure, you immediately go for another one and then come back. <laughs> while the guy's still like, you know, cautiously moving around that treasure deciding if you're there or not so Prince is I, I kind of like the decision by Prince but Kaiser immediately scouted it with the native scout um, and so he's he could, going to steal it I think he's going to have it let's see I oh, think he's going it. to be close oh and Ooh. he's got it <laughs> oh this is so annoying oh my god <laughs> oh that's brutal <laughs> so cool. And the the thing is, he's still got his snipe, so he can walk back to this 80 food after he maybe takes out this explorer and just pick it up as well. And there's, there's not much Prince can do about that. 
Can you get this away? Yes. No? And another 45 XP for Kaiser. Wow, and yeah, I mean, he's 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 got this 80 food as well on lockdown. Um, the only unfortunate thing for Kaiser maybe is this 80 food won't come in to boost his age up time. Um, whereas Prince has got a villager going forward, and hopefully he can find a spot to put down this agri fort because sometimes it's a bit annoying. I think he's got he's over 800 food. He's looking for the spot to put it yep. down. He gets it. Cool. It's not as close as he wanted, I think. That's all right. I, it, it's close enough. Um, I. Yeah. I will say though, like the one good thing Prince had going for him, dis despite all that uh, annoying kind of uh, scout and explorer, was was that he knew like the scout and explorer were occupied, taking down his explorers. So he he knows he could um, uh, get this aggro down in the middle because um, if if Kaiser's scout was out on the map, you know, trying to potentially block the aggro fort from going down, it could be really hard to get it down as in the onto that. But he 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 knew that he could see that. Um, Kaiser's, you know, scout was in his base killing his explorers, and he's gonna go after the villager. Do you remember that one game where I actually said like, no, the villager's going to survive it, and then it actually died? Remember that one? Yeah, that was that. Was, yeah, that was only <laughs> yesterday. Um, yeah. I, the the thing was because um, the player didn't bring their like war chief back immediately, and we can see Prince has actually got a monkey, and you know he's got his explorer in there, mm -hmm. so he's he's kind of safe. Ooh. Is it fright dog? Yes, it's Freitag, the pet ma macaque. Freitag. And uh, I, I, I believe I've seen this strategy before coming out from uh, from Prince. Looks like we got the uh, the old consulate going up. Uh, and it's, do you think he's going to ally with uh, Ottoman or with uh, Brit? So I, I highly expect it's going to be the British. And uh, we're just going to see um, a lot of sepoys and we're going to see the, the redcoats coming in as well. But, um, I mean, Kaiser's already preparing for it. We've already got this uh, weird two wall segment and, like, one wall post. With, oh, which he just deleted, even though it was up. Interesting. But, um, yeah, he's, he's actually going to build another wall here on the right. So either Prince is going to have to spend a little time sieging, which is going to be really annoying for him, or he's going to have to walk the long way around. And, um, I mean, Kaiser's already getting his barracks up pretty fast. He, he, he's usually pretty good at these kind of semi ffs where he'll he'll defend with crossbows or so he might have to commit to age two though he does have a lot on coins so i guess he's going for muskets instead well <clears throat> he's walled off the the first piece and he's also going to wall off the second piece uh, and, <laughs> and he's, is he going to try to wall off this piece as well now oh this is good he's got <laughs> <laughs> that that would be funny if he, if he walked like all of the entrances to like the middle plateau and just like locked locked Prince in with all of his <laughs> army. Tough. He's got seven sepoy or six sepoy, so that's not enough yet. Yeah. So the thing is, I don't think Kaiser has actually seen this consulate by Prince. I, uh, Prince kind of placed it. Um, a little bit carefully, he, he saw like Kaiser's Explorer and Scout on the right hand side of the aggro, so obviously you don't want to give him free scouting information, so he just dumps the consulate on the left hand side. And I, I could be wrong, but I don't believe Kaiser has seen that, so he, he might be able to suspect what's coming. He knows Prince um, is kind of, he, he uses this consulate rush quite a bit, so what you do is you ship the 300, the 300 export followed by the 5 sepoy, and you get a hit point boost for all your sepoys, plus we'll see 6 redcoats coming out pretty soon. Um, yeah, we'd see Pr Prince was like clicking his sepoy round, and they were passing really weirdly. And so he he's, he knows the walls there, and he's just going to go through and try and siege that. And um, Kaiser is kind of he's he's got a few muskets, but it's not enough right now. He's he's going to try and get that wall's not going to go up in time though. This wall's going to go down, right? Yeah, um, it looks like it looks actually that like Kaiser's trying to age up. Yeah, the yeah he's the thing going is, fortress. Yeah, the thing is, he ships seven hundred wood, but he hasn't used it yet. So it's kind of um, he's delayed his age up a little bit. I wonder if he was planning to maybe make some crossbows, but it, I mean, this Rax is going to go down before like any crossbows even come out, right? Or, or maybe he was going to use it for stagecoach and has just got. Well, now he's preoccupied trying to defend this, so we haven't seen any trading posts got. But this seven hundred wood shipment's been completely useless. Useless. He's just like bank 763 wood. I mean, that could have been like eight crossbows, I guess. 
Um, well, he has aged up now. Um, would you age up with fast age or with... S so in this it. situation, I think he's going to want to age up really fast to try and get um, out these uh, oh, yeah. uh, higher tech units, okay. so like the skirmishes. But he's 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 popped. Ah, but but I guess if if he hides a cure in the boss somewhere, he he can he can build seven houses. So unknown to Prince is that um, I guess the population won't be too much of an issue because he can instantly build um, a lot of houses back up. But uh. Yeah, Prince is just committing to this. We can see the four Sours coming in. Um, five Gurkhas are following it in. Kaiser does have a shipment ready, but he's going to need to get some houses down. I'm trying to see where he's... Okay, so he's, he's got a few Cure de Bois here out on the right side of the map. So he's he's rebuilding his population. Um, I guess he's going to ship eight skirmishes first and try and kite a bit. It's going to be yeah. really uh, difficult with all the Sours on the map. Yeah, so the thing is, only four Sours is... It's, it's not too much, and he does have 10 musketeers, and you know, maybe a bit of TC fire. Ah, look, we can see actually Kaiser is focusing the TC fire on the Sours right now. Yep. Um, he also has a market up, so if he needs, he can sell for Minutemen. He hasn't called them yet. So I think we're going to see 8 skirms pop out here at the back. If he brings in his 10 musketeers, you know, calls Minutemen, it could be a close fight. I don't know how it's going to go. Oh, wow. Kuro de Bois is so strong. I just lost his house. And Found it. Yeah. He's rebuilt a house at the same time, so he isn't popped yet. And there you have it. Yeah, yeah, so look at that! They're just gonna walk right through the wall! Oh, yeah, look, all, all he does is take, like, what, uh, you know, one volley from, just one hit from, from this sour. And there's only two sours left, like, Prince. Prince could have brought those in, but he decided that it's gonna be a waste because he knows there's the, the musketeers out. And, and so this has been held off for now. Um. And yeah, Kaiser's gonna eat his jacks. The only, f the, so the main issue for Kaiser is his infrastructure is so screwed up right now. We we've got no barracks on the map. We've got no stable on the map. So he, there's no way for him to actually build any extra units. He does have a shipment on the way, which I think is army because he's he's popped. He's like 54 out of 50 right now. So why that's good for him? He's not gonna really have any way to create any additional army. So Prince might have a second time in here. Where um, even though Kaiser's defended, he can he can then hit Kaiser in you know like two minutes because Kaiser's army is actually not only not going to grow very much. It's only really going to get an extra shipment. Um, it could even be the two falconets which he's going to pop in between like the the walls here and just just hide them. Oh, <clears throat> exactly as you said, two falconets popping out and stables going down. Yeah, I, I think he actually bought a cup like 200 wood or so from the market. He had like an extra 200 wood anyway. But uh, I think, yeah, he, he bought some wood just to get this infrastructure down. And uh, these, these kind of wall segments around the map are really nice, just, just to give him a bit of vision, honestly. Yeah, exactly. So he also knows where the army is. And he's placing the cannons into position, and that's going to be a really good folly. Oh, oh only, only one of them fired. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's still good, right? Because you get, like, uh, he, he already just took out an infantry unit plus uh, a bit of splash going on there. Um, I meanwhile, I've just... Oh, sorry. No, I think Prince has added a few uh, sowers, yeah? Yeah, he's got the staples. So he's going to go for a raid to the north over here. Yeah, that might be quite a successful raid, actually. Um, yeah. Because Prince, um, sorry, I was going to say, uh, Kaiser, the, the the issue with the Falconet army is it's not very mobile. So we can see um, Prince is heading in with these Sours, uh, and at the same time he might try and catch out the Falconets. Oh, Kaiser's, Kaiser's trying to micro his Falconet, so he might not see this raid for a while, actually, because he's going to be really oh, focused on the front. He's losing all the screwed ones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's yeah. realized it. But he's going to lose another four. Oh, Dragoon's popping out. And but Prince, Prince is using this opportunity to go in at the front. He's seen that Kaiser's as soon as Kaiser's moved this Curry de Bois, he's going to use it to try and go in. So good. Kill the Falconets. Yeah. He's going to get both Falconets. And all those Musketeers are going down as well. Yeah, he will get the Skirmishers out of there though. And the Skirmishers can't be cleaned up. Um, the Sour Raid is mostly cleaned up. Kind of one gets away. But it's not really, not really a big deal. But um... There was probably a good good trade by Prince. He knows he's cleared the Falconets off the field, which are the kind of the most annoying thing to try and deal with as, as an age two India. 
um, and and he did kind of hit Kaiser's economy a little bit. So I don't know. We're kind of in this weird situation now. I think it's kind of a it feels an evenish game. Like Kaiser has the tech advantage, but we can see like Prince has actually got double the military population. So I I don't know. Actually, I think right now that Prince is slightly favored now, especially because that little raid in the north that really helped him out. Yeah. Yeah, it was a re really nice maneuvering on both fronts there uh, by Prince. I, I will say the only thing that maybe wasn't going for Prince was I was following his market techs a little bit. Um, he's he's still way down in market techs, and the only ones he's got are the level ones, and they only just came in recently. But um, he's going in again. And those dragoons are just massacring these soas. Yeah, he's, he's got this wall segment to back up to, but it's kind of an awkward angle, so he chooses just to go to the right instead. Although he's, he's blocked by this cliff, he kind of has to go down a little bit, which is going to be really annoying for him. Um, his skirmishers are like backed into a corner now, and there's kind of no way for them to get down to this segment here. Alright, he's going to head up to the wall. <laughs> That's a really nice split, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, if yeah, only yeah. he had a few more sowers now. Yeah, um, Kaiser came out of that better than I thought. I thought Prince had um, had found like a nice angle to sandwich and like Prince had cut him off from getting uh, up to this gate. Oh, here come the Sours, but there's five goons left and the, the Minutemen will do a bit damage as well. I didn't realize they'd just been called, so I think that's enough actually. Yeah, these five Sours are dropping so, so fast. Yep. So incredibly hard to deal with dragoons as an H2U, Sif. Yeah, and um, I mean, Prince has no intention of aging at all. Um, we do see he's, he's increased his economy a little bit because he's just shipped the foreign logging, but he still only has the age one market tax. There's no uh, imperial bureaucracy or um, the, the the second tier for uh, food and coin. But he's going in again. These these minutemen are low, so if they can get shot down, and we still only got like. Uh, I guess the goon count's been increased, but um, yeah, Prince's army is just a bit bigger here, so it's forcing Kaiser back again. But it's not enough. It's, it is just this tech advantage that they have, right? The skirmishes are better than the Gurkhas, and the goons are just so difficult to deal with. Yeah, ex and exactly, so, and. And also, like, this um, wall that Kaiser has set up mm. with this gate, yep. it means if he ever gets into trouble, sorry, um, he can just he can just back up towards his town center and, like, Prince can't necessarily... Like, if Prince gets an advantage in, in a military fight, he can't push it that hard because Kaiser will just, like, walk back through the gate and uh, Prince will kind of have to walk around these houses and it would just be really awkward for him. So um, Kaiser's kind of exploiting this, that advantage by, like, uh, just staying... In, in that area, and so any, any trade that Prince wants to instigate, um, it will kind of go in Kaiser's favor. But we can see Prince is adding now a second, uh, what is it, Kara, Karavan Sarai? I, someone complained that I was pronouncing that wrong before. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's yeah. the way you have to pronounce it. Um, these goons yeah. are trying to intercept that small raid, but they're not going to meet, are they? Oh, they, they I are. think he's... Oh, no, yeah, they're I... not. It's just a tiny bit more. Then he's going to see those villages over here. Ah, but he's pulled. He's his, put, he's, pr look, this this is the classic strategy. You distract him with your army prince is distracting him by sieging the house, so it forced the goons back for a little bit. And then of course you go in with the raid right at the back. But Kaiser did still have his goons split off, so it, it's not actually going to accomplish much. I think he should get most of these sours, or at the very least stop his cure the bar from dying, which is uh, which is kind of what you want anyway. Well, Prince is still ahead in the economy, uh, but let's courageous add it with the goons. Oh my god, this army is looking now really scary. Yeah, it's it's kind of getting to the point where Kaiser won't even have to you know stay behind his his gate and wall segment, um, especially if he uh, maybe even ships like cavalry combat as his as his next card. But he's he's got a really big skirmisher mass now, and. Um, Prince does have a lot of production though, so um, it's possible he could, uh, he could, uh, you know, like double his army count almost immediately. Immediately, in fact, he's adding extra barracks. He's also just reached 400 export as well. Yeah, so he's just queued up the red coats as well. That's pretty nice macro from Prince. 
and so like he could he could literally be getting like five batches from all this production in the middle so so there could be like a potential for a really big army swing if if like kaiser tries to uh walk up to skim oh yeah <laughs> there. oh that's so annoying <laughs> when things like that happen especially if it's in a tournament <laughs> game exactly yeah. uh, it ha- doesn't happen too often but no so so the, the thing is the strategy is you you pull your Kira de Bois and you put them on the mine. You put like 20 Kira de Bois on the mine so you can mine it out really fast so you get access to the to the two skirmishes again. <laughs> so that's the high level play right there. Alright, so he's just he's moving around the map. Um, Kaiser might have to be you have to be a tiny bit careful when you separate um, all your anti cav away from your scams. I think you I think you'll be fine here. I think he knows what he's doing. He's going in for a raid on uh, uh, Prince's Vills. He's gonna stop the castle going up actually. Ooh, Prince is actually he really wanted that castle to go up, so he kind of sacrificed a few sours um, before his infantry got there. I think he needs it, to hunt. Yeah. He's going to try and get the snare off. The, the thing with these sours is why they don't really have many hit points. They actually have a pretty good... Um, because they're so fast, they can uh, get a snare off even on Dragoons. But he lost a lot of his cavalry for that. And, you know, he, he lost maybe like eight, eight sours there. Um, not really getting too much done. And meanwhile, like I just Kaiser's score on an army and, and everything has just been climbing this whole time. Exactly right, because the economy was ahead just a few seconds ago, but right now it's almost similar. And yeah, all those goons. What are you going to do against that? I don't know he's lost. I mean, he's he's just upgraded his sours again. They've been carded, but I mean, but. He's lost them all now, so like these three cards are not going to be the best. He gets the he gets the sea poison melee mode though, so it kind of um, sends the Kira Shays back. But I don't know. That he's I think Kaiser just has too much here. The the sea poison nice on the Kira Shays, but yeah, Prince kind of has to go back a little bit. And I mean, just have a look at like the military unit population. Um, yeah, that was fairly even just a few seconds ago, but right now, <laughs> it's twenty percent of what it had been before the fight. And now look, ninety-two versus twenty-seven, and this yeah. looks over, doesn't it? Yeah, Prince is in, uh, a, a spot of bother, I would say. Say. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, ooh, I don't know. Um, I mean, he's got he's got two trading posts, but I guess I mean he's gonna have shipped most of his eight to two cards by now. Um, so yeah, Prince knows that he can't really engage this army at all. So he's the, the next best thing is just kind of run around the map, see if you can kill some villagers. Um, he got a village on the mine here with his sours, but uh. Yeah, I mean, I don't see how he can defend this this aggro really. This this is where you want to be H three and like pop seven Euromies and then just clear everything up. <laughs> but, I mean, they totally would, right? But uh, yeah. but being in H two, you can't really do that. I mean. This looks like it's his last stand. I think he's he's trying to defend his production, and I think I think we might see the the GG here from Prince actually when he realizes that I think he already knows really he can't really defend this position. He just doesn't. I mean, he has five unit population right now, of which most of these infantry are pretty damaged anyway. There's this Gurkha with like four HP. There's the four. Yeah. <laughs> GG. Well, nicely done. Yeah, pretty well played from uh, Kaiser Klein using the the walls and and the gates and sort of thing to his advantage. Um, yeah, a good use of the Cure de Bar as well. He, he volleyed down uh, a lot of infantry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he feels pretty embarrassed with his with his uh, the walls, I guess. Uh, pretty frowned upon to make wall segments these days. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if he's going to be able to show his face around the community after after <laughs> making walls. He's going to have to keep his head down. But uh, no, that was nicely done. That was nicely done. Absolutely, yeah. Well done, especially those follies from the crew de Bois. Yeah, they really worked worked down that army, and so it gave them enough time to to kind of get out his eight skirms, uh, the ten muskets, and it was it was just enough to defend. All right. I'm going to be right back like a couple minutes and then I'll rejoin you. Okay. So, after a short break, I presume we're going to continue. Um, I can fully understand Prince of Kabul uh, wanting to have a breather for a moment. Even I felt that way. And I haven't been playing. I've been just really watching this game evolve like, uh, like it has. And... Uh, I just can't escape the feeling that it was such a shame. Like, Prince of Kabul really did play his heart out. Like, he did probably his best. I mean, that was some really good play we saw there. Um, and I, I, I couldn't really see whether he made any mistakes either. I, I don't think he did make any mistakes, did he? Um, it was pretty well defended by Kaiser. Kaiser didn't give him that many windows um, to uh, for the Prince. To be honest, I don't know. Mm. There was maybe a couple of um, a couple of times where Prince could have gone in. I don't know. Kaiser made it pretty hard for for Prince. To be fair, though. Uh, so where's Prince gone? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I, I would need some time after such a game as well. <laughs> All right, <laughs> like, just I don't know whether maybe he smokes. Uh, he has to smoke a cigarette, perhaps. Possibly. Does that require logging off the SO? No, Prince of Is Kabul. I can see him on online. Oh, you can't. Oh, it's because no. Um, I know. It's because oh, I've got his Smurf accounts added. It's because he he doesn't really play much on Prince anymore. So mm. I, have his, I have his Smurf accounts added. But I don't <laughs> actually have his. That's why. All right, sure. Uh, do you know what the next map is? Um. Yep. Yeah. Florida. Ooh, I like that. that Florida. And um. Prince is now in the awkward situation of having to be 2-0 down and pick uh, his civilization first, which is uh, that's really awkward. So uh, yes. he's going to have to see what he can do to come back. Ho hopefully he's calmed himself after his little mini break. I'm sure he has got himself back in the game, in the zone. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I might sound stupid, but I'd go France. And he's picked France, yeah. He's picked France. There we go. I mean, Florida has the highest amount of hunts 
of all maps. 54k, lots of trade posts. So, what else is there to want? Yeah, it's 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 got everything Florida actually, and you even start off with a market. Yes. Oh yeah. So I of course I think um, Prince is obviously very aware that Kaiser is very likely to pick Germany. So I think Prince decided he knows what matchups coming up, and um, he wanted to play a, a France versus German here. I mean, you have to know that um, um, yeah. if, if Kaiser hasn't picked German by game three, well, <laughs> yeah, you kind of know what Sivi's going to pick on game yeah. three. And this is about as classic a game you can get between these two people as ever. Kaiser yeah. Klein is German and Prince is France. So let's yeah. see who's going to win this. I think this is uh, it's going to be pretty even, but before uh, maybe German was favored a, a little, but now the the Hussel versus Uhlen fight has, has changed a little bit. France can defend themselves um, a bit better, even maybe put on some aggression in aids too if they get some good trades. So um, this is probably quite an even matchup now. And um, yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know how this one's going to play out. And so, yeah, right. as you said, um, a market start and Kaiser Klein moving immediately to the right. Discard out a few treasures, but he's not going to take a trade post. And Prince of Kabul is also headed north. Yeah. What do you think of the hunts, by the way? Um, the hunts, they look okay to me. They yeah, look on this fine. map. It's true. Yeah, mines look alright as well. So I think we are we are good to go. Um, yeah, um, well, let's see. Prince is going for ooh two stray dogs in need of rescue. See now this could get interesting because because it wasn't a TP star. Germans kind of need to build that TP in transition to um, give themselves kind of a, a, a good competitive chance going into the fortress age. So what Prince might be able to do here by finding this two stray dogs treasure is what he might try and do is um try and hunt down kaiser klein's explorer during the transition period and stop kaiser from maybe building a, a trading post on this map which oh, would, that would uh, be really annoying <laughs> yeah if, if, if he could get away with it that yeah. would be huge and he's the other thing is he's got a native scout as well so there's a good chance that he might be able to um you know scout the, all of the map find out where kaiser's explorer is and actually hunt him down so we'll I assume that's what Prince is going to do, or else he would have just gone for resource treasures. Well, Kaiser has been uh, getting the 100 food, which is allowing him to age up a bit faster, and he's going to get 100 XP. That's yeah, yeah, and he's already got his first sh shipment now. Yeah, that's that's the thing about going for the two dogs treasure is because it, it's guarded by three alligators. It takes a while to get, and you mm -hmm. kind of you know have to forfeit um a couple of treasures you know that you're probably missing like a hundred uh resources that you could have gotten treasures if, if you use your time elsewhere so yeah um kaiser's kind of got the, the resource lead with the with his treasures so far but he is going to pick up the 120 gold to the north that's a really nice treasure to have Ah, uh, yeah, that would be good. Um, so both players got their villager shipments coming in. We just got the settler wagons coming in. Mm. Um, I'm just wondering what they're going to try and do. I guess Kaiser's very likely to do a um, cavalry semi-FF, but I think um, infantry semi-FFs have... Um, I've seen a couple of those nowadays. So, um, yeah, yesterday. <laughs> Remember that yeah. one? <laughs> So it's it's oh and here we go. Prince has actually found the explorer with the native scout. The dogs are on their way. They've they've left. Prince is they've rushed forward. Prince isn't even waiting for his explorer. Oh, and Kaiser um, doesn't know yet, does he? Well, if he was paying attention, he would he would have seen them coming in. So the only good thing for Kaiser is this native TP. Oh, sorry, this trading post site is really close to his town center. So if he gets in real trouble, he can garrison some of his villages, and he might have to now that he sees the dogs. Like, he knows how important getting a trading post is. He's gathering for the trading post. We can see he's got 200 wood in queue. And he's there it is. Yeah, he's put it down. 
Oh, and Prince steals his treasures, the 135 coin as well. Oh. He forces them off the trading post. Kaiser knows how important it is. He garrisons some villagers. He knows he, he needs the trading post, right? He's only garrisoned four villagers, so it's not a huge amount of attack, but it's enough to force the dog bikes, actually. So the dogs actually don't have too much HP. They've actually got more attack. But Prince is going to go in again. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Prince try. Um, sorry, Kaiser Garrison's is, is again, but Prince is going to hunt this down. He kills the explorer. Kai Kaiser's sending out now a settler wagon to finish off the TP, which is really annoying because that. Yeah, yeah, and he's trying to block it. But he didn't manage it. No. Yeah. The, the thing is, when you age up, you do actually get a bit of uh, life back on your explorer. So his explorer is revived and he can build the trading post. But, um,. It's possible he missed the pass throughout all that, or he might have got lucky. Actually, I can just see the wagons coming, kind of coming now, so um, it's not too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. And um, uh, Prince's Explorer made it away with um, well, he's at a hundred hit points now, just because he uh, aged up. But um, previously it was uh, it would have been not. Uh, <laughs> in one state we're going down for Kaiser and for Prince as well. Yeah, so so this is like I guess the most standard thing we see in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, uh, the, the I guess the France is more likely maybe to do the drop the racks and do like ten muskets semi FF. But yeah, this this is the most usual where both players build some cavalry. Um, they kind of try and get a few raids in, uh, and then uh, both head up to the fortress age. So um, yeah, we'll be seeing some fortress play pretty soon. I did not. Oh, I just realised throughout all of that, I was so focused on Kaiser's trading post. That I've just realized Prince hasn't gotten a trading post, which is interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because we were just talking about that the trade post is becoming, a, or as you said, was a meta, but Prince doesn't have one. So these yeah. Ulans are going to be caught. <laughs> oh, already? Like, is it zero again? Oh, <laughs> 23. It was pretty low. Yeah. yeah, um. And yeah, so Prince has no intention of actually getting a trading post looking at his, his resource count unless 700 wood's going to come in. Kaiser does pick up a courier de bois while Prince was occupied trying to take down Kaiser's explorer. Um, so the thing is, these five Hussar can actually beat these Ulans pretty handily, but can they catch them? I don't think they can. No. And that one courier de bois is going to make all that difference because right now it's like 25 to 26. And... Yeah, as, as France, Ooh. you need your villages, right? Yeah, and Just oh, can't. he's baiting Prince a little bit. So oh. Prince has, oh, but Prince actually has more Hussars on the way, so now he, he, he can reverse bait Kaiser Klein. He pulls back the injured Hussar, which is nice. I think the Hussars will actually clean this fight up. So Kaiser, yeah, Kaiser realizes that. He um, he leaves one of his Ulans behind, but uh, Prince still has the snare on one of the Ulans, so... Alright, he breaks the snare just about, but I think that trade was favorable for, for Prince. Yeah, absolutely. And if it can only pick one village off right now, and maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe one. Oh, so we got some more runes coming in from Kaiser. This is a little bit risky by Prince. Uh, Prince can't actually run, so I, he just has to sit here and take the trade. I think he, he will lose all his hussars, but he might kill enough Ulans that it could be kind of okay. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's definitely going to lose all his cavalry uh, at this point. Um, so not ideal for him. He did ship the 700 wood meanwhile and he has actually got um, a trading post behind it. And instead of going up to age 3, he, he's actually do uh, dropped a double rack. So he's committing to age 2. And looks like maybe even Kaiser is a, as well a little bit. Though I think, um, judging by like Kaiser's resources, he's got like 300 coins. So at any moment he could ship the 700 coin. And he's got like 30 villagers on food so he can he can age up almost instantly. So there's the coin. So Kaiser's definitely going to try and age up. Um, I think Prince maybe saw the 700 coin on the floor, and even if he didn't, he knows what you know what's coming up. You're going up against Germany, very yeah. likely. However, Prince has sent 700 food instead of 700 gold. Yeah, Prince. Prince is staying absolutely aged too, and so he's going to try and hit a timing now. He's going to try and get out like huge batches of muskets with with this 700 food, and uh, maybe a few extra hussars as well, and, and try and break Kaiser Klein. And he could do it if if um, if only he just had a few more hussars, maybe. 
I, I don't think Prince wanted to lose all his Hussars up at Kaiser Klein's base. That's, that would that's going to hurt his timing push a lot more. Yeah, this m actually looks like a repeat of the game we just had on Tibet. Kaiser Klein going to h3 and Prince of Kabul over committing to the second age. Yeah, but he's he's making sure his, his Hussar aren't getting caught. He did send in his, his Explorer, I think, just to scout a bit what's going on. Kaiser has a shipment available. It's not on the way yet, though, because he's busy garrisoning all garrison his villages. It is on the way now. So um, Prince will know the timing, though. He knows he's got, uh, I think it's about 40 seconds or so um, of time staying around the base before you know something's coming out. Oh, the Minutemen's coming a bit early, so he's not actually timed that with the uh, with the unit shipment, but he has timed it with a settler wagon pool, which is kind of nice. Um, Prince is snared. The Uhlans on the right-hand side. He gets his muskets into melee mode. These Uhlans will drop, like, really fast if, if the Uhlans don't get out of there. Um, the Minutemen has been cleaned up. I wonder what shipment's on the way, because if it's, like, the eight scums, like, they're just, there's no Minutemen now. He, he's going to have to repel his um, settler wagons out of the town center. Uh, if it's, it's probably the free, um, it's probably the free war wagon. So yeah, which will actually do fine against this. So yeah, a prince goes for the mini mode, which should um, do well against the Uhlans uh, and the war wagons. Uh, but the war wagons are kiting now, and actually, he's gonna. This is gonna hold. But we got another batch of ten muskets coming in. Um, the thing is, Kaiser Klein has 24 idle villagers right now. Like, most of his economy is in, in the TC, so he's not really getting any batches of skirmishers out at all. He's got, he, is, he does have an extra shipment right now, but it's going to take a while. He's gathering his sheeps up because he really needs food. He really needs to get a batch of skirmishers out. Yeah, it looks these like war he's right. are just going to kite these mus musketeers down. He's got three of his ass. Do you think they can manage to kill him off? Surely they can't. Not, not quite. But I think yeah. he he, know, he knows that. Yeah, he wanted to try and scare the war wagons away to try and save his musketeers. Um, it didn't work, so he's just going to run the hussars away, I guess. Um, but it looks like I'm he trying to figure out if Prince is aging or not. He got a lot of coin in like. But he doesn't have enough food, I think. No, yeah, no, he's he's still actually just queuing up bunches of musketeers. Yeah, it almost looked like he was going to try and age at that yeah, point, actually. Yeah. He does have a pretty decent hussar count now. Um, the thing is now, Kaiser's going to start trying to get aggressive. But he might think that maybe Prince is trying to age behind this. And if Prince isn't, and he gets out another couple batches, and Kaiser's caught out in the middle of the map, then it could be a bit of bother for him. But... Um, I mean, Kaiser can clearly see right now that Prince is staying age two just because of this um, the extra reinforcement batches. So um, he knows what's up now, and yeah, his his army's just fine at the moment. Honestly, he cleans up Prince's Prince's army. Yeah, Prince needed probably to wait for a second batch and catch Kaiser out when Kaiser was pushing out in the middle of the map, and maybe just surprise him. But at this point, oh, he's he's just losing all his batches. Yeah. And Literally a repeat of the previous game. Skirmishers taking out H2 units. Yep. Um, yes. I mean, if, if Prince, yeah, he's uh, the thing is, every time he's getting a batch out of like ten musketeers and, and some hussars, it, it just keeps dying. So he never builds up like a, a good mass of units. And now Kaiser um, playing it safe. He's just going back. Um, so pretty smart decision like there's no reason honestly for him to stay near Prince's base um, he's got the tech advantage he knows he's gonna have the better units yep and even the Prince has sent eight crossbow card at this yeah. point in the game <laughs> is that worthwhile isn't it um, better to save it yeah there's I, I don't think there's much more else to send if you're committing to age two I think the eight crossbows is pretty good Prince once again pushing in, maybe just before his reinforcements have arrived, so he's going to lose a few musketeers. He does get a good batch of five hussars coming in from the south, but um, he's losing hes losing too much before his reinforcements have even fully arrived right now. Kaiser's doing some good kiting. Um, the crossbows still haven't here, aren't here just yet. Um, good focusing on the hussars, maybe even pulling in some villagers. Oh, and the Jaegers oh, are out, Jaegers. that's it. That's yeah, GG. That's it. Wow. So that was a um, pretty pretty convincing 3-0 there from, from Kaiser Klein. Uh, pretty well prepared series as well. <laughs> I enjoyed game one. That was pretty fun. Uh, Prince Prince put up a 
um, a good fight, but uh, I, I think he can he can possibly show a bit more than that. I think the the thing is when you lose like game one like that, it's whew, like the momentum went straight in Kaiser's favor. Yeah, and yeah. He, he didn't he didn't let it go at all. So um, it, it was a good series, good series. Is it the last game? It isn't, is it? Best of seven. The or? last one, three zero. It's um, round of sixteen. It's best of five. Ninety nine percent sure. I'd be happy, I'd be happy <laughs> okay. to be wrong. Yeah, no. If you tell me there's another That's, game, I'm up uh, for I'm Ninety nine percent certain that I'm wrong. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. Right. I, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Shame, really. Was... Uh, extremely well played. Um, just yeah. like wish that Prince of Kabul could have won at least one game. Yeah, he wasn't I wasn't given the chance to. Mm. Anyway, uh, thanks for casting. Enjoyed right. that one. See you later, Rickett. Ciao.